Hi, I'm Gary. And I'm Paul. The popularity of lacrosse is increasing more and more each year. There's more opportunity for young athletes to join. Well, growing up in Canada, everybody expects you to play hockey. Out of Gary Gate behind. Canaris stuffed it in. Tremendous goal. The shot. The save by Miller. And that should do it. Team Canada have won the world title, dethroning Team USA. I started playing men's field lacrosse in ninth or 10th grade. We went on to play and win the Canadian Championship. So it, uh, it got me a tryout to the Canadian national team. Long story short, the coach, I didn't make the team, but the coach loved myself and my brother. He made a call to Coach Simmons down here at Syracuse, and Coach Simmons uh, gave us a call and gave us a chance and got the opportunity to come to Syracuse to play lacrosse. It was, it was awesome. His legacy as a player, you know, I mean, he won titles at every single conceivable level. He won them in college, he won them in the professional indoor league, won the professional outdoor league, won them internationally. He and his brother Paul were the first ones to do behind the back passes and, and you know, they even used to do all, they just had all these kinds of crazy moves that they'd learned. After finishing at Syracuse, I, I stayed playing professional lacrosse and coaching as well has always been a part of what I did. I started coaching young and Dr. Gross, the athletic director at the time here, called me up and said, what's it gonna take to get you back to Syracuse? And it was just perfect timing. I thought it'd be a great move for my family. My daughter uh, won, you know, was an opportunity to coach her. He sat me down and was like, so if we go here and I coach here, you get like a free ride here. So like, I just wanna know if we move here, would you wanna play with me? And I was obviously like, yeah, oh my God. Well, I, I think she certainly believes I'm harder on her. And I, you know, I just want her to be her best and I want to give her every opportunity to do that. I spend more time with her so she gets more coaching. <laughs> it turns into like a father-daughter like situation where like he'll like annoy me and I'll be like, oh my God, dad, you're so annoying. And he'll be like, yeah, you can't do that. You're like, oh, sorry. And like everyone will laugh and make jokes about it. It's just like cool to have a connection with your coach, like beyond just like, that level, it goes to the next, you know, like I, let's say I play a really good game, it's not only my coach being proud of me, but my dad, so. It's very rare to have a player, a men's player of Gary Gates stature coaching women's lacrosse. You know, obviously with his daughter and some of the other things in Syracuse, and the fact that Syracuse gave him a chance, I think that he, that the women's sport is very lucky to have him, and I think the men's sport probably could use him, and they're not going to get him anytime soon. I mean, obviously, it's amazing what he did, me, or him and my uncle, and it's just like really cool and I'm really proud of it. When you're little you don't really know about your parents and like what they did in college and like I really had no idea until we had to move here. And then I was like, oh wow, like what? Like everybody knows who you are here? Like what's going on? I don't set expectations where like, oh I need to be the best player in the world. Like, no, I'm like, I'm not my dad. I'm into totally different things. You know, like I, I love fashion. I like wanna ha like be a CEO of a company. Like I wanna like, do big things. As they say, I, I bleed orange and uh, love Syracuse University. It, it, it was the place that opened the door to kind of this incredible life of lacrosse. To be back here and to be a part of it and provide that opportunity to all these kids coming through now has just been amazing. I just bleed orange and, and all the way through and love the university and will do whatever it takes to, to help bring in more future orange that have great experiences.